Have you heard of Hyperspace? This 4 axis minis game is currently active on Kickstarter. I'm going to share you what I think about it and stay tuned until the end of video. I have the designer himself, Sandy Peterson, sharing you the inspiration for the game. Coming up. Hi everyone, hope you're well. It's Stella from Ripple University. Our passion is to bring you a variety of quality board game videos. On our channel, we do a lot of overview, how to play, play through, and vlog, just like this one. So if you're new here, glad that you found us. Please consider subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so you'll get notification of our new videos. Question of the week. What minis game make a great gameplay? What do you like about mini, mini games? Is it the gameplay? Is it the mechanics? Is it the really detailed minis that you're after? Do you paint your minis as well? That's another question. So write everything in the comment section below. I'd like to hear from you. Before we get to hyperspace game, a quick announcement. We are going to make a new segment part of my tabletop diary, Girls Play Games. Basically, I am inviting a few of my girlfriends to come and play board games with me. We're gonna share you the game briefly before we get into the game. We're gonna share you our thoughts before during and after the game. So check that out. I will create that for you and I will publish it probably next vlog. And we are getting close to launching our competitions. We've got a lot of freebies coming up for you. And I can say, I can reveal one of the prizes is Hand of Fate Ordeals Board Game by Rule and Make. So thanks to our sponsor there, Rule and Make. We have the videos for the game, we have the overview, how to play and sample playthrough. I'll put the link in the description below so you can check out the game. Now, let's also have a look at a snippet of the board game. Released in 2018 after a successful Kickstarter campaign, Hand of Fate Ordeals is a deck building adventure game based on and co-developed with the video game of the same name. It was designed by Michael Barantas McIntyre and published by Rule and Make. The game plays two to four players in the competitive mode and also comes with a solo and cooperative mode which plays between one and four. It has an estimated duration of 90 minutes and is of medium complexity. In the game, players play as travellers imprisoned in a Hunger Games style fantasy world competing for the entertainment of an omnipotent game master and trying to earn the most fame points. The game is a deck builder combined with an adventure game. Players can spend their efforts building up a deck full of high value currency cards, enabling them to buy the best and highest value cards from this row for victory points. They can go out in search of peaceful events where they can directly increase their fame, or they can gather an arsenal of weapons and soldiers together to earn their fame by going out and fighting enemies. All are valid pathways to victory and should be pretty well balanced whichever way you go. So that's a quick snippet of Hand of Fate Ordeals. Don't worry if you're subscribers and you have your bell notifications on, you'll get notifications when we launch a competition so you won't miss out. We recently did a preview of a Kickstarter project game called Hyperspace. This is by Peterson Games, or well, Sandy Peterson the designer. He has created a few quality board games with minis. One of them is Cthulhu Wars, so you might have heard of it. I'll put the link to our preview video in the descriptions below. The game looks really great. It plays relatively quick. It's a 4X game where you build your colonies and you conquer um, other colonies or uh, you can explore the space as well. The game components, although it's a prototype copy, is really good. So the minis are quite detailed and if you have checked their Kickstarter page, you can see how detailed the mini is going to be. The game reminds me of um, a PC game called Starcraft or Warcraft, where you build your colonies, you then go and attack other peoples. It has that sort of feelings. Um, I'm a big sort of like Star Trek fan, so this game is a good one. Uh, definitely, it's not for the faint-hearted. You have to attack your opponents in order to win games, because one of the actions that you can do is battle, where you get points regardless of the outcome 
whether you win or lose, you still get the victory points. In the game, you do three actions. So you do the whole three actions before moving to the next player. You can build, you can explore flipping tiles and not knowing what tiles you're gonna flip. So when you flip the tiles, it feels realistic in terms of space explorations. The gameplay is not too long. You do three actions and move on to the next player. The actions is not too long either. It doesn't have the upkeep phase, so it just keep going on and on. I like the technology part of it where you can build your technologies. It's getting more expensive each turn, but it'll get your actions a bit more powerful. So a bit of engine building as well there. Now, he's the designer himself, Sandy Peterson, sharing you his inspiration for the game Hyperspace. Hi, I'm Sandy Peterson. I've been designing games since 1980, but long before I was a game designer, I was very interested in science fiction. Now, I came by it honestly. My dad got me into it because he was reading science fiction books in the 1940s and 1930s, and I had a lot of his old pulp science fiction magazines and the old Flippy Daw edition books. And I would read these things all the time and really like them. When I was a little kid, my dad would take me out to see science fiction movies. I remember being terrified when I was about eight years old by Day of the Triffids and by Planet of the Vampires. Uh, I remember seeing the movie The Green Slime when I was 13 and all the next day, me and my friends were playing Green Slime. It's not at the drive-in, that was tons of fun. So I came by science fiction you know, the right way. I can actually remember when I was a kid smuggling a copy of Amazing Science Fiction into church because I had an article about Star Trek, this brand new TV show, you probably haven't heard of it. And uh, so I was reading the article about, about, about the, the Enterprise and the characters and how it fit into science fiction and that was really cool. Except I had to keep it hidden because, you know, I was a church. But I have finally... I've made a name for myself in doing lots of different games and especially horror and asymmetric strategy games. And I have finally decided to break down and do a game on my first love of science fiction with asymmetrical weird aliens that would break all the ideas that bugged me about previous uh, science fiction uh, games. So, such things like have the aliens look like humans with masks. I hated that. I wanted aliens to be really alien and weird like I'd read in those old books. I wanted the aliens to behave differently. I wanted them to have super science. I wanted them to be unique and fun and aggressive and have lots of complicated interactions. And that's what led me to try to do the game Hyperspace. Thanks. Thanks, Sandy, for sharing that with us. I'll put the link to the Kickstarter project in the descriptions below. And if you like this video, please let us know by clicking the like button. Write your questions, feedback, comments in the comment sections below. And if you like to join a community who loves board games just like you, we have a Facebook group called Meeple University Community, also in the descriptions below. And finally, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already done so and hit the bell button so you'll get notifications of our new videos. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Until next week.